All right, everybody, welcome back. I got another one here for you. Since I have a few Australians that uh, watch my videos, I'll figure out, check out where they're coming from. Uh, I don't know much about Australia other than uh, kangaroos, didgeridoos, and down under. And Melbourne. So, yeah, let's check it out. In Australia, you can celebrate the holidays at the beach. That's because December marks the start of summer and June marks the start of winter. Australia is located in the Southern Hemisphere, so the seasons are opposite of what they are in the Northern Hemisphere. Pretty okay. cool, right? Yeah. Good day, mate. I'm Linda, Good day, mate. and that's how some people greet each other down under. Australia is located on the bottom part of the globe, and that's why people... Okay. Why are y'all located on the bottom part? How do they know that that's the bottom? Is it because of the north and south? They say north is top, south is bottom? Semantics. Let's keep going. People say it's down under. The country is completely surrounded by water. On land, you'll find kangaroos, red rocks, and a fun instrument called a didgeridoo. And get this, Australia is the name of both a continent and a country. Let's take- Did not know that. Why didn't I know that? Why didn't I put that two and two together? Anyway, cool. Let's keep going. Ain't this pretty though. Take a dive off of Australia's coast and visit the Great Barrier Reef. This incredible ecosystem has more than 600 types of coral species and lots of colorful characters. Oh hey little guy, that's a raccoon butterfly fish. This underwater paradise is as big as the country of Italy wow. and home to more than 1,000. Ain't that pretty right there. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Every time I look at myself on the screen being recorded, I'm lucky not looking at the video, but y'all gotta understand I'm blind, so my screen is a 42 inch monitor. So I'm, I'm like looking all over the screen. <laughs> Let's keep going. Down under. Here we go. 600 species of fish. All Ooh. right, back to dry land now. All right. The next thing I want to tell you about flies through the air. It's not a bird, it's not a plane, it's a boomerang. Boomerangs oh. were invented by the native aboriginals of Australia thousands of years ago. Skilled hunters use this angled stick for hunting prey from far away. Some of these ab I also happen to know that the boomerang wasn't designed to come back to you, right? It was designed to knock uh, something out of trees, fruit out of trees or something. I've seen that somewhere. Man, look at that pretty rock there. Aboriginal tribes are from a place called the Outback, which is a desert away from the coastal towns and cities. Okay. Another resident of the Outback is the kangaroo. Did you know that kangaroos are known for their boxing skills? Mm -hmm. When they get in a scuffle, they use their arms to punch and their legs to kick. Sometimes they kick with both legs at the same time and use their tails for balance. There's a lot of cool critters in the Outback, <laughs> like thorny devils, dingoes, and even camels. There's plenty of room for these creatures to wander. The outback is so big, more than half of Europe could fit inside of it. You can even see it from space. Do you see all of that red coloring? That's the outback. Wow. The dirt in this desert is red. This is thanks to something called oxidation, a chemical reaction that causes the rocks here to rust, just like some metals can rust. This kind of dirt is perfect for forming opals, Opal. which are rare gemstones. In fact, Australia produces 95% of the world's opals. The outback really Wow, 95% of the world's opal. Wow. Never knew that. I knew there was a spot in the States where they do opal hunting. But I never knew that they... Wow, okay. He is a diamond in the rough. Or I guess I should say an opal in the rough. From the desert to the coasts, Australia has tons of exciting places to explore and awesome animals to see. If you want to learn more about Australia, make sure to check out Kiwi Coast Atlas Crate Line, made in part by me. 
With Atlas Crate, you'll learn about a different country every month. You'll get to know the culture with hands-on projects and taste the local food with a traditional recipe. Check out KiwiCo.com to get your crates and start exploring. Wow, okay. Now I know a little bit about your country. Uh, I think there's a, I have a few more followers from different countries. I'm going to check them out too. But yeah, nice to meet you, Australia. Wow, that's cool. Maybe I'll do a little bit about where I'm from too. At some point. But I want to want to know where y'all from. So uh, thank y'all for coming. Like and subscribe. I have a link to a Kiwi in there. Uh, y'all go check them out too. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.